Are you needing an extra Ethernet WAN port on your CradlePoint router? If you can sacrifice a LAN port, then this video will show you how you can configure a LAN port to act as a WAN port. Start by logging into the NetCloud admin page at 192.168.0.1. Go to the networking tab on the left and find VLAN interfaces. Once at this page, check the box beside the LAN. Click the edit button above and a window will appear. Check the box beside the LAN port you would like to adjust, then click the remove button above. Click yes to confirm you want to proceed with the change. Then click save, followed by OK. Now that we're back at the VLAN interfaces page, we're going to click the add button. In the window that opens, enter three for the VID or the number that you do not already have in use. Give this WAN connection a name to identify it. Then set the mode to WAN. Click the add button below here and select the LAN port you removed earlier. Click save, then save again, and then OK. You should now see this listed with the other WAN and LAN interfaces. At this time, we'll head over to the Connection Manager page to check the status of our new WAN, which I have just plugged into the LAN port. Scroll through the profiles and find the Ethernet with the VID you set. It will be listed at a lower priority as you see here, so we're going to drag and drop at the top of the priority list. This will prompt the WAN to establish a connection. Once it's moved, we'll give it a few moments to establish. The new WAN states it is connected, so that completes our setup. We hope you enjoyed this video and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.